you're going into the next game thinking that like man we just won last game we're gonna win again like just stick to our strategy and the enemy has to reactively change their plan and uh usually if you win you can stick with your plan and if until it like you know doesn't work which sometimes it just keeps working right so i definitely think that momentum is a pretty big factor in best of fives it's always super scary as a top laner to be TP back into this wave without knowing trouble. Moody gonna be moved back in, does get a pretty big play down, but he's already stunned. Flash is a little late, and that's first blood for Omar. And as a result, C9 hold on, and CLG are the ones actually losing out on this, because if you look to the bot side, that full wave is getting denied to the turret right now, but they're gonna try to turn it around. Moody again, still doesn't have his flash up for the last play. Shield there from Shen, might be enough. Turn around there, a sneak with a lot of AoE, but Afro able to take it down. Great flash from Dasha to Jensen, also up here, Omar, able to answer as the cast gets too, but it knocks him out of the boss bomb. Torn just last by Dasha, as Jensen, I think, got the donation on the double buffs there. No, not quite. But still a kill for Cloud9. He's here, here has Shockwave. Doesn't have it. Oh, no. Barely missing the cooldown. Well, Impact doesn't quite have the, the full wave clear built up just yet. No Barmy Cinder to really help out. So Styx actually gets a lot of free time on those waves. And CLG is shadowing his top side. Brook lands in after the support from Impact. Sneaky. And we get the pick off. Goodbye, Styx. Eh? Tom Flash makes a big play on to Styx right there. Unable to react. They're going to continue this play. Contract might have found who he, but a good flash. Going to get him out. The flash forward to move Shen in after the stage. Uh -huh. Todd lands point blank. And who he goes down to Jensen. That was a moment where they stretched the map pretty well with the two solo laners. And that set up Impact's ability to sneak into the brush and make that play out of Huhi. That's just not stopping. Jensen actually here. That should be the damage to maybe fell the tree. Darshan. We're going to get out of the way. Burns the ulti. Impact flashes in there. Does get a little bit more CC down. And Darshan finally dies to contract. Jensen can't get that last hit. Maybe bought enough time there as Huhi tries to line up the ulti. And he doesn't quite have yet. Stunned the one to win back for his refuge. But then a few more precious seconds. A hook only finds out for a shockwave. Is back available. Box down. Great oh, play. huge two man play. As Smoothie is gone. Going to just go down. Jensen still fighting, gets the in. kill, and now Sneaky gets the counter kill on the back end. Omar is going to fall down as well as Contracts to collect them all. Sneaky, one last auto grabs Omar, God. Well, the Contracts may be too far forward. Headbutt. He's going to get a little tanky grind. DP in behind from Impact. Uh, gets aggressive. Dashon also a little too far forward in the lane. Impact is going to run them around, but Dashon gets his ult immune by Sneaky's Featherstone and gets Weaver on the other side of the hook. In the box, and Darshan is going to stay alive for as long as possible. And finally, his death is sealed by Sneaky. And Jensen, he wants in. There's no way of knowing if the Baron is being taken down or not. One thing that's happened with COG this game is who he has gone for the sweeper every single game. So they only have one Farsight totem. That's the grab on the Aphromu ulti there. Actually stuns up the tank. Contracts in the front line. Is he's going to find it. Sneaky getting bounced around. Here's enough damage to 6-8. He's going to get Here's the reset. Sean. But Jensen still firing away. Darshan back in business. A smoothie caught out. He's going to fall to who he. COG, they find the team fight win, 5v3. C9 trying to get away. If they get the jungle, they could get Baron here. They're gonna get contract, but look, at things are shut down for Stixay. He's gonna stay around, do uh, what he can to be a nuisance, but no hope other than that. And there's Baron over to CLG. But now with a lot of pressure, cast to Afro, who burns the ulti. Ulti there, lands in off to Jensen from Omar. His impact taking a lot on the front side, but Stixay, he may have caught contracts. Omar flashes in to get the stun and lands it. Damage is there, Stixay able to take one down. Has to be if they want to, they need to go now. Ulti looks for Stixie, doesn't find it, grab onto Darshan, but Afro back in, finds the carries again. Oh, the combo in, the turret falls in and amongst the mix. Now Stixie looping forward to try and take out contracts as Sneaky. The only carry left alive, Jensen got deleted in that team fight, and Impact, he's left out to dry. What an engage there from Aphromoo, and the follow-up is there from CLG. They're gonna walk the super minions in, and they will push us to a game four. Certainly gonna try to. He's gonna try and end the game right now. Do have the bot in hit if they need it for some insurance, but looks like that's not the case. Sneaky caught out of there. Don't take the lantern out after the feather storm. Pulls it back. Finds a stun for contract in onto who he but he just does not have enough. Omar able to take him down. Six a threatening. Leaps on a sneaky. And that should be game here for CLG. Just not enough here for Cloud9. They're gonna do the formalities, take down the Nexus turrets, but Jensen with 10 seconds left will not be able to save the base this time. CLG. Finally on the board, one game closer to sweeping their way back to Worlds.